Egypt is one of the world's oldest civilizations, yet the origins of its people remain widely misunderstood. Many imagine the ancient Egyptians as purely African, purely Middle Eastern, or as a population that remained unchanged from the age of the pharaohs to today. The reality is far more complex. For over 3,000 years, Egypt existed at the center of Africa, Asia, and the Mediterranean, one of humanity's greatest migration corridors. Recent advances in ancient DNA analysis, including genetic data from mummies, are now challenging old assumptions. Science is finally revealing where the Egyptians truly came from and how their ancestry evolved over time. Long before pyramids, pharaohs, or hieroglyphs, humans were already living along the Nile Valley. Archaeological and genetic evidence shows that people occupied this region tens of thousands of years ago, drawn by reliable water, fertile land, and abundant wildlife. These early populations were part of a broader North African world that looked very different from today. During wetter climatic periods, much of the Sahara was green, filled with rivers, lakes, and grasslands that supported human communities. The earliest inhabitants of Egypt were North African hunter-gatherers closely connected to populations across the Sahara and Northeast Africa. Genetic studies suggest these groups shared ancestry with ancient peoples living in what is now Sudan, Ethiopia, and the Eastern Sahara. Rather than being isolated, prehistoric Egypt was part of a wide cultural zone that stretched across northern Africa before desertification gradually pushed people toward the Nile. As the climate dried, the Nile became a lifeline, concentrating populations along its banks. Over thousands of years, these Nile-based communities developed local traditions, burial practices, and subsistence strategies adapted to their environment. Genetics indicates strong continuity from these early populations into later periods, showing that Egypt's population did not suddenly appear or arrive fully formed from elsewhere. Crucially, this deep prehistoric layer forms the foundation of Egyptian ancestry. Ancient Egyptians were not outsiders to Africa nor recent arrivals from Asia. They emerged from long-established North African populations shaped by climate change, geography, and time. Understanding this prehistoric foundation is essential to understanding how one of the world's first civilizations could arise so early and endure for millennia. Around 3100 BCE, ancient Egypt unified into a single state, marking the beginning of dynastic civilization. Archaeology and genetics agree on a key point. This transformation was largely local. There's no evidence of a massive invading population replacing earlier inhabitants. Instead, ancient Egypt emerged from communities already living along the Nile who gradually developed complex social, political, and religious systems. Genetic data from pre-dynastic and early pharaonic remains show strong continuity with earlier North African populations, combined with moderate genetic ties to the Near East. This suggests long-term contact rather than sudden migration. The people who built the earliest temples and royal tombs were biologically similar to those who had lived in the region for thousands of years before. This continuity undermines older theories that civilization was imported into Egypt from elsewhere. Instead, Egyptian civilization formed through local development, supported by agriculture, trade, and centralized power. The genetic evidence confirms what archaeology increasingly shows. Ancient Egypt was a native civilization rooted in the Nile Valley, shaped by its environment and its people rather than created by foreign conquest. While ancient Egypt developed locally, it was never isolated. From early on, the Nile Valley maintained close connections with the Near East. During the Neolithic period, farming communities from the Levant gradually moved into northeastern Africa, bringing crops, animals, and new technologies. Genetic studies show that these interactions left a measurable imprint on Egyptian ancestry. Ancient DNA reveals that Egyptians shared significant genetic similarities with ancient Levantine populations, particularly during the early dynastic and Middle Kingdom periods. This connection reflects centuries of migration, intermarriage, and trade rather than large-scale population replacement. Goods, ideas, and people moved along well-established routes linking Egypt with the Levant and Eastern Mediterranean. Importantly, genetic data shows that ancient Egyptians were often closer to Near Eastern populations than to Sub-Saharan African groups, especially in Lower Egypt.
This does not mean Egypt was non-African, but rather that its northern position facilitated gene flow from Southwest Asia. These influences layered onto an existing North African genetic base, instead of replacing it. The Near Eastern contribution helped shape Egypt's agricultural economy and cultural exchanges, but the population remained largely continuous. Egypt absorbed influences while maintaining its own identity, both culturally and genetically. Egypt's relationship with Sub-Saharan Africa has long been debated. Archaeological and genetic evidence confirms sustained contact with Nubia and the Kingdom of Kush to the south. Trade, diplomacy, warfare, and migration all facilitated gene flow between these regions. Ancient DNA shows that some Sub-Saharan African ancestry entered Egypt, particularly in Upper Egypt, which was geographically closer to Nubia. However, this mixing was gradual and limited rather than overwhelming. There is no evidence of a large-scale population replacement from the south during pharaonic times. Lower Egypt, closer to the Mediterranean, shows less southern influence, highlighting clear regional variation within ancient Egypt. Overall, sub-Saharan ancestry was part of Egypt's genetic landscape, but it blended into a population that remained primarily North African with Near Eastern ties. This balanced picture reflects Egypt's role as a bridge, not a boundary, between regions. Across its long history, Egypt was ruled by many foreign powers, including the Hyksos, Persians, Greeks, Romans, and later Arab dynasties. These empires left deep marks on Egyptian culture, language, religion, and administration. However, genetics tells a different story about population change. Ancient DNA evidence shows that most of these conquests involved elite rule rather than mass settlement. Small ruling classes governed a largely unchanged local population. Studies comparing ancient Egyptian genomes across different periods reveal remarkable genetic continuity from the Old Kingdom through Roman times. Despite centuries of foreign domination, the underlying population remained largely stable. Greeks and Romans influenced urban centers, especially Alexandria, but their genetic impact on the wider population was limited. This distinction between cultural dominance and biological replacement is crucial. Egypt absorbed foreign rulers, ideas, and institutions, but its people were not repeatedly replaced. The major genetic shift seen in Egypt occurred much later, not during the height of pharaonic or classical rule. Modern Egyptians are not genetically identical to ancient Egyptians, but the differences are often misunderstood. Genetic studies show that the most significant changes occurred within the last 1,500 years after the end of the classical world. During this period, increased contact with Sub-Saharan Africa through Trans-Saharan trade routes brought new populations into the Nile Valley. This era saw the movement of people alongside goods, especially during the medieval period. As a result, modern Egyptians show higher levels of Sub-Saharan African ancestry than ancient Egyptians did. This admixture was gradual and uneven, with stronger effects in southern regions of Egypt and less impact in the north. Despite these changes, modern Egyptians still retain a strong genetic connection to ancient Nile populations, core components of their ancestry trace back thousands of years, linking them directly to the people who lived along the river in pharaonic times. Modern Egyptians are best understood not as a replacement population, but as descendants shaped by additional layers of history. Taken together, ancient and modern DNA studies reveal Egypt as one of the world's great genetic crossroads. Egyptian ancestry is a blend of deep North African roots, substantial Near Eastern connections, and limited but real Sub-Saharan African input. None of these elements alone defines Egypt. It is their combination that tells the full story. Genetics confirm strong continuity from prehistoric Nile populations through the age of the pharaohs and into the present. While the proportions of different ancestries shifted over time, the population was never wiped out or replaced. Instead, Egypt absorbed people slowly, reflecting its geography at the junction of Africa and Eurasia. This genetic pattern mirrors Egypt's historical role as a bridge between continents. Positioned between the Mediterranean, the Levant, and Africa's interior, Egypt connected worlds, biologically as well as culturally. DNA now provides scientific confirmation of what history long suggested. Egypt was shaped by movement, not isolation.
The genetic story of the Egyptians is neither simple nor static. They were not an isolated people, nor were they repeatedly replaced by conquerors. Instead, Egyptians emerged from ancient North African populations, developed locally along the Nile, and absorbed influences from the Near East and Africa over thousands of years. Their ancestry reflects geography, trade, climate change, and time itself. Ancient DNA shows continuity beneath shifting empires, while modern genetics reveals how later movements added new layers. Egypt's people, like its civilization, were rooted in Africa, shaped by neighbors, and connected to the wider world. 